Hey everyone, I'm Ed Johnson and today I'm going to be showing you how to design your very own website. I'm going to be showing you the basics of website design using HTML. HTML, for those of you who don't know, stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it's the basis for all websites. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the font on your text for a website and I'm going to be showing you how to change the font size. I'm also going to be showing you how to add line breaks and I'm going to show you how to centrally align your text. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to go is uh, first thing you want to do, sorry, is you want to go to start and you want to click on uh, Notepad. It's in my shortcuts, but if it's not in your shortcuts, it should be in accessories um, on Windows. It should come with all Windows. Um, and now with HTML, um, you've got tags, and these are the tags. So that's an HTML tag, which is what you want to do at the start of every website. The head tag you also want to do at the start of every website, and the title tag. So you've opened all three of those tags. Um, and in the title tag, this is my HTML website title. Ooh, website title. Um, and now you've got to close tags um, to signify everything in between them. Uh, and you close them by adding a backslash. And now we're going to close the head tag too, because that's all we want in the head. Um, and you add a, sorry, not backslash, forward slash. So we've opened the title here, as you can see. We've got to close it with a forward slash at the beginning. Um, and we've opened the head, so we close it and do the same thing for that. Um, and now we want to add a body tag, and the body tag signifies everything in the main content of the website. So welcome to my first website. Um, press file, uh, save as, the first time you're saving it, and save it to the uh, desktop. Or just save it to wherever, really. You can create a new folder if you want. And you can save it as whatever you want, as long as you have .html at the end. So yeah, as you can see, I've saved it as index.html, you can save it as home.html. Um, and you, I'm going to minimize that now. And now you can, as you can see, the HTML document is there. It should automatically open in an internet browser, but if it doesn't, right-click, open with uh, your internet browser. Uh, but as you can see, mine de uh, as default is going to open with um, Mozilla Firefox. Wait for it to load, and there you go. That's the title tag at the top, and that's welcome to my first website. That's the body code. Um, I'm going to minimize this now, and we're going to go back to the code to do some more editing. Um, I want to centrally align the, my main body, ta body tag, um, so I'm going to add a center tag. Um, so type in center in the tag coding, and you've got to close it as well to signify that everything in between those two is going to be centrally aligned, and everything after the, the closing of the tag is not going to be. Um, as you can see, you press refresh or F5. Um, and welcome to my first website. There you go, and it's centrally aligned. Um, we're going to minimize it and we're going to go back to the code. Um, I'm going to add a font. I'm going to change it to the font of Arial. Uh, by default, it should be uh, a Times New Roman, um, but I'm going to change it. So you type in font space face equals open speech marks Arial, uh, close speech marks, close it, and then obviously you have to close the font tag to signify everything in between them. Press file save and go back to the website and press refresh. As you can see, it's that. But now when we reload the website, it's gone to Arial, which is perfect. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Um, I'm going to change the size as well. The size as default should be size 3. Um, so I'm going to change it to a bit bigger. So I'm going to change it to size 5. It's already closed the font tag, so we don't have to worry about that. Press file save and let's press refresh and as you can see it's gone bigger it's gone to size 5 which is perfect that's what we were aiming for um, now I'm going to show you what happens if you add something that's not in between any tags um, this isn't formatted text um, press file save um, and as you can see if you press refresh it's not in the center because we've closed the center tags and it's not in between them and it's not formatted in the right font because we've closed the font tags. So what if we did want to uh, centrally align it? We would get rid of uh, the closing center tag. Um, so, the, um, so we're going to delete that and everything in between the center tags are uh, centrally aligned but we haven't closed the center tags. So everything in the code would be each, uh, in center. As you can see, it's gone to the center. Um, and now we're going to close the center tag, so everything after that won't be in the center, if you see what I mean. Press File, Save As, um, oh, File, Save, sorry. And refresh. Uh, this isn't formatted text. Well, it is now, because it's, it's in the center. Um, 
And now, as you can see, it's all on one line, even though it's not on the same, even though it's not on one line on the code. So to fix this, we want to do a BR tag. BR tags are one of the only exceptions where you don't have to close it. BR stands for line break. Um, and if you press refresh, now you can see that there's a line break there, so it's broken the line. Um, the BR tag stands for line break. Uh, makes a line break. Um, ooh, that makes a line break. Um, as you can see, just refresh it, and there you go. There's a line break in between those two. Um, but if we wanted the line break to be more of a paragraph, we'd add two BR, two line breaks. So let's go back to the website. Let's refresh or press F5. Um, and there you go, it's more of a paragraph rather than just a line break. Um, so now we want to um, correctly format it to the end. We don't have to do this, but we're going to to make it more um, more acceptable code. So we're going to claim we're going to close all the tags that we've still got open. So the body tag and the HTML tag which we've opened but didn't ever close. Uh, nothing will change on the website, but it's just uh, a general rule for formatting. Um, so there you go. That's how to design your first website in HTML. Uh, please subscribe for more tutorials like this. Um, and enjoy designing your first website.